Thread turning is an established and widely used threading technique for the threading of parts. It is used across multiple industries and can be used for internal, external, and tapered threads. Thread turning is commonly the first choice technique for threading rotational parts because of its high productivity and surface finish compared to other techniques shown here. Thread turning has three primary programming infeed methods. Modified flank infeed, incremental infeed, and radial infeed. With modified flank infeed, the insert is fed in at the angle relative to the thread profile. This angle is usually 1 to 5 degrees for A and F insert geometries and 1 degree for chip breaker C geometries. The advantage of this method is less heat generated, less vibration, and higher production reliability. This method should be a first choice for most threading operations. For incremental infeed, the insert is fed in at the angle of the thread profile, but here each leading flank pass is alternated with a trailing flank pass. The result is more even insert wear and longer tool life, making this the ideal choice for larger thread profiles. For radial infeed, the insert is fed in a radial direction to the bottom of the thread. It does not follow the thread profile like that of modified flank or incremental. The benefit is even insert wear. This method is also simpler and more readily available as a programming option on machine tools and CAM software, making it the most commonly used infeed method. In this example, we can see for each of the separate infeed method NC code shown. The Z values are different. In modified flank, the insert follows the profile of the thread so that the Z values need to increase or decrease uniformly. For incremental infeed, the Z value alternates, and with radial infeed, the Z value stays the same value, showing why this method is easier to program and widely used, even when one of the other methods would be the more productive choice. The thread turning calculator is available for use from Sandvik Coromont. Calculate the correct number of passes and decreasing depth per pass for modified flank and radial infeed thread turning methods. Set your parameters for the type of thread profile and thread pitch to get the ideal number of passes and decreasing depth per pass for radial infeed and the Z offset per pass for modified flank. For modified flank infeed, be sure to specify the correct flank angle dependent on the insert geometry and thread profile angle being machined. To program this technique in Siemens NX6 CAM software, use the thread OD or thread ID operations for thread turning OD or ID threads. First in modeling mode, establish the crest or upper limit of the thread and draw a line the length of the thread desired. Then the root or lower limit of the thread and draw a line. Next, draw a line perpendicular to the end point of the crest line where the thread will be terminated. Next, in manufacturing mode, use the thread OD or thread ID operation. Select the crest line at the side of the line where the start of the thread is desired. Next, select the end line and root line. For tapered threads, specify the depth and angle instead of root line. Fields will then become available to specify the depth and angle for the tapered thread. While there is no canned op to program the flank and incremental infeed methods in NX, the radial infeed method can be programmed with a decreasing depth per pass using the individual option set for cut depth within the threading operation. Set the number of passes and depth of cut for each pass according to values in the Sandvik Coromont threading calculator. Also note that solid model tools are available at sandvik.coromont.com to be used in the toolpath verification of NX. For more information about implementing these techniques or any other CAM questions, please contact your local Sandvik Coromont representative.